Hi, hello, sao bona, dume lang. I'm Sasko Sam and I love helping people. I also love to tell stories, especially to children who enjoy reading. My favorite word in the whole wide world is siasizana, which means we are helping each other. This word makes me happy and puts a great big smile on my face. I want to introduce you to my five very special friends who care so much about each other. They help one another and share a lot of fun and adventures together. Meet my five friends. Elephant. Buffalo. Lion. Rhino. Leopard. This story is about Elephant who wants to be a rock star. Let's start reading. Elephant wanted to be famous. She wanted to be a rock star. Elephant had a lovely singing voice. She had true talent and could easily become famous. She wanted to be photographed and have her picture in magazines. She wanted to appear on TV. She wanted to wear lovely clothes. She wanted everyone to know her name. Can you sing for us? All the animals would ask. Me, 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 me. The birds were jealous because elephants sang better than they did. Hippo said, Gosh, elephant, you shouldn't be on the stage. Wow, said Crocodile. You are amazing. You should be on TV. You are awesome, elephant. The news soon spread that Elephant had a beautiful singing voice. Her special friends told their friends. I really, really love this song. They told their friends. I really think that she could be a rock star. And they told their friends. Music to my ears. And so on and so on. Everyone now knew Elephant wanted to be a rock star. Whenever Elephant practiced, her friends loved listening to her sing and joined in. La, 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 la. Rhino loved to dance. <laughs> Lion stumped his feet to the beat. Leopard clapped his hands in time to the music. Buffalo beat his drum. Boom, boom, boom. One day, totally unexpectedly, Elephant received an exciting letter. Dear Elephant, we are talent scouts from a TV show called You Must Have Talent. We have heard that you have a lovely singing voice. We would like you to try out for the show. There is only one rule. The song you sing for us must be your very own song. Until we see you, keep singing. Best wishes, the judges. At last, I am going to be a rock star. Elephant could not believe it. Her dream was about to come true. Everybody knew this wonderful TV show. All the entrants who appeared on it became famous. Elephant ran to tell her best friends. Wow, said Leopard. That is fantastic news. Buffalo was thrilled. You deserve it, Elephant. We are all so proud of you. Rhino hugged Elephant. I just knew you would be famous one day. Please don't forget us when you are rich and famous, said Lion. Oh, Lion, I would never ever forget my friends, even if I become a rock star and appear on TV, said Elephant. Elephant practiced and practiced. Me, 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 me. She kept her throat warm with a scarf. She sang popular songs she heard on the radio. <laughs> she went to bed early every night so that her voice could rest. Elephant had a lot of favorite songs, so she had a big decision to make. What should she sing for the judges? Ooh. 
As the day for the audition came closer, Elephant asked her best friends to help her choose her song. But, oh dear! Silly Elephant had been so excited about the audition, she hadn't read the letter properly. The letter said, There is only one rule. The song you sing for us must be your very own song. Elephant sat her friends down. Pretend you are the judges and tell me which song I should sing, she said. Elephant started to sing. Buffalo jumped up. Stop! Oh, Elephant, you are going to be disqualified. Your songs have all been heard before. They are not yours. You didn't write them. Someone else did. These songs belong to other rock stars. That's right, said Lion. They own these songs, the words and the music. It is their property. You can't use them and say they are yours. They belong to the artists, added Rhino. That is just like stealing. Oh no! What am I going to do? cried Elephant. I don't want anyone to think that I am a thief. Well, well we, we can, can help you solve this, this problem. problem. We, we all want, want you to be a rock, rock star, said her friends. What do you want to sing about in your song? asked Leopard. What is in your heart that you want to share with everyone? asked Buffalo. Elephant thought and thought. What should I sing about? Suddenly it came to her. The most important thing in her life were her friends. They loved her. They helped her. They shared everything with her. So Elephant wrote her very own song about her friends. No one in the whole world had ever heard it before. Her song was called, My Friends Are Fantastic. When she was ready, she sang it for them and they loved it. When the judges heard it, they loved it too. They all agreed that Elephant must be lucky to have such fantastic friends. Elephant was thrilled. Her dream was coming true. She was even more thrilled when the judges said they wanted her to have a second audition. Elephant could become a rock star very soon. But from now on, she was going to be a very busy elephant. She had a lot of songs to write that would belong to her. They were going to be her own songs. I hope you enjoyed this story about Elephant. She had no idea that taking and using someone else's work was just like stealing. Let's share our thoughts about the story and talk about it. We all know that taking something that belongs to someone else is stealing. But did you know that taking someone else's ideas or thoughts is also stealing? Elephant wanted to sing someone else's song to the judges. She was not allowed to do that. The words and songs had been written by someone else. They did not belong to her. Can you think of examples in your life and at school where stealing other people's ideas and thoughts can happen? Example. Has anyone ever copied your homework? Or has anyone ever taken your idea and pretended it was theirs? Have you ever taken something that you can't see or touch that belongs to anyone else? Do you get your mom and dad to do your homework for you and pretend you did it? Have you thought about how easy it is to take words and ideas off the internet and pretend they are yours? Do you think that is right? Words we have learnt in this story Disqualified To be declared unfit because of a mistake Property Something that belongs to a person, a thing or a thought Audition A short display to show that you are suitable Entrant A person who takes part in something If you had to give yourself stars for honesty and not copying anyone else's work or homework how many would you give? Let's all sing together!
Reading, sharing, learning, caring, help each other with storytelling. We all have to learn to read, then we can read to learn. Hey!